trusting sons. Today's scripture and insight. Genesis chapter 42 verses 29 to 38. When they reached their father Jacob in the land of Canaan, they told him all that had happened to them. The man who is the lord of the country spoke harshly to us and accused us of spying on the country. But we told him, we are honest and not spies. We were twelve brothers, sons of the same father. One is no longer living, and the youngest is now with our father in the land of Canaan. The man who is the lord of the country said to us, This is how I will know if you are honest. Leave one brother with me, take food to relieve the hunger of your households, and go. Bring back your youngest brother to me, and I will know that you are not spies but honest men. I will then give your brother back to you, and you can trade in the country. As they began emptying their sacks, there in each man's sack was his bag of silver. When they and their father saw their bags of silver, they were afraid. Their father Jacob said to them, It's me that you make childless. Joseph is gone, and Simeon is gone. Now you want to take Benjamin. Everything happens to me. Then Reuben said to his father, You can kill my two sons if I don't bring him back to you. Put him in my care, and I will return him to you. But Jacob answered, My son will not go down with you, for his brother is dead and he alone is left. If anything happens to him on your journey, you will bring my gray hairs down to Sheol in sorrow. Returning home without their brother Simeon, Jacob's sons relayed all that had happened to them, 42 to 29. When they mentioned the demand of the lord of the country that they must bring back their youngest brother, however, Jacob grew stubborn, 42 to 33 36. He said, Joseph is gone, and Simeon is gone, 42 to 36. With two sons lost, Jacob had no desire to see something happen to Benjamin, his youngest. Even with Reuben swearing on the lives of his own two sons, 42 to 37, Jacob dug in his heels. My son will not go down with you, lest you bring my gray hairs down to Sheol in sorrow, 42 to 38. God had begun to mold the hearts of Jacob's sons, but Jacob was proving to be tougher clay. Please, like, share, subscribe.